What's up everyone? I have a salmon of knowledge victory for you today. The salmon has to be one of the most fun pets that they have released inside of the unicorn pack. And today I am planning on combining it with another fun pet that they have released in the same update, that being the Anubis. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you do I really hope that you subscribe. But basically the premise is going to be that we are going to be combining the salmon with Anubis and for the Anubis to work we'll also need a blobfish. So what this is going to result in basically we will have the blobfish giving XP to the salmon of knowledge at the beginning of the battle via the Anubis and then the salmon will give lots of XP to the front two most pets that we have. In case you don't know the ability of the salmon by the way, it's basically giving your two frontmost pets to XP but at the same time it gives the opponent frontmost two pets to XP so it can be a double edged sword so you have to be a little bit careful with how you use it and I think in the unicorn pack especially it is very dangerous to do so but in customs I think it's relatively safe. Like most of the teams are just stats and they don't have any relevant in battle abilities, at least in the relatively early late game I think. So yeah, uh, we will be hoping to level up into something decent on turn 5. We are looking for lots of tier 4 pets, obviously the Anubis and the Blobfish are both tier 4, but I am also hoping to see a Clownfish. Because that is a level up synergy and definitely we want it on our team. And we are very lucky to level up into double clownfish on this turn. And we even have a level 2 Ogo Pogo into the team so that will result in the frontmost clownfish getting to level 2 immediately. So it will give uh, the frontmost clownfish, how many stats is that? Like... 2 from the XP from the Ogo Pogo and then 6-6 six, six more from the double clownfish effect. So we're getting plus 8 plus 8 on turn 5 so I think we're doing pretty well. We're winning quite easily right here but if we can manage to keep this up we'll be extremely happy with ourselves but I somehow kind of doubt it especially if we match up against a summon team. Here I pick up a full dog as well as another one and I am doing this because this build utilizes 3 tier 4 units so we'll be very happy to have some extra HP on the Blobfish, on the Anubis and the Clownfish as well. The biggest weakness of this build is the snipes that you have to sometimes incur at the start of the fight so I think it's a good idea to have some protection from those by getting lots of HP on our units. And uh, we even find another full dog in the show, but I think it's too late. Now it's going to start buffing tier 5 pets. And we do have uh, the Salmon of Knowledge being tier 5, so that would not have been a useless buff. But I don't think it's super relevant to have. Instead, we're just going to focus on getting double Capybara and hopefully we roll into an Anubis. A little bit of a struggle with this build was getting the Anubis to a high enough amount of attack because you want the Anubis ability to trigger before the Salmon of Knowledge and the base stats of the Anubis is only 3-5 whereas the Salmon of Knowledge is 5-5 so you have to work a little bit to get some attack onto the Anubis so, to, so you can prevent the wrong order from happening and if we can manage to roll into an Anubis which we thankfully do I think the issue will be resolved completely. So here we go, we're picking up the Anubis, we're going to give it a chocolate, also we're going to give it the gingerbread man for the next turn, turn 7 and 8, I think we got a little bit unfortunate because we were also hoping to find a blobfish at this time, which unfortunately we didn't manage to do, but at least we continue winning, so it's not too horrible. Now we have access to chocolate as well, so we will be getting rapid level ups. I don't think we actually want to level up the clownfish, so uh, we don't really want to take the one from the shop. The reason for that being is that we actually want to get levels mid fight. Unfortunately the Anubis however does have to be at least level 2 in order to trigger the ability of the blobfish, so we do take a little bit of a hit right there by taking a level up. 
So uh, yeah, other than that, we're just looking for the salmon. We're also looking for potentially another scaler that benefits from level ups that can be uh, most likely the team spirit I think is going to work best for us because it buffs the entire team. But uh, obviously we can't find that yet because it is only turn 10. We can level into it, but as I said, we don't really want to level into stuff. So we'll just roll for the blobfish instead. And thankfully we find it. With the level 1.5 plus the gingerbread man, it's going to be getting to level 2 during the fight. And also I think the Anubis is going to trigger a level 2 ability of the blowfish and uh, not just level 1. So I think that's good news for us. We will be getting lots of XP, lots of stats and hopefully it will result in lots of wins. Let's see how this battle goes. We are hoping to not get matched against any snipers and uh, even though we actually do get matched against crocodile plus dolphin plus rhino plus badger. We still have good enough stats that we can actually win the round, which is very good news. So here we go, I think we are going to transition away from the clownfish. We are going to start working towards a level 2.66 blobfish, so we can get it to level 3 med fight. And that will increase the amount of XP that we gain. Uh, and uh, all that we need to see now is the team spirit and the salmon of knowledge. We are being a little bit unlucky, especially with the salmon, which we could have found starting from turn 9. It's been like 3 turns already and we have found nothing, but you can see even without it, the team is performing super well. But once we get it, we'll actually skyrocket our stats into the moon. So I'm hoping we manage to get that relatively soon. Here I'm even going to go for a level 2 oyster, hoping that we level into a team spirit, which sadly we do not, but thankfully at least we get it on the very next roll. So here we go, I think we are going to start rolling for the salmon now, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, we should be finding it by the end of the turn. So I'm really excited to show off how this combo is going to work. Salmon, you probably know that it is not a commonly used pet and for good reason because it has a downside But I think in this sort of build it can do wonders for you Here we go, we have found it and now we can hop into battle and see the effects of it So the very first battle the Salmon is participating in It's actually going to buff the Woodpecker and the Wolverine up to level 3 and that results in our team getting absolutely destroyed So not the best for showing but uh, we do still have one heart remaining so hopefully we can turn things around And uh, I promise you once we get to actually trigger the effects that we have on the team the stats that we accumulate are absolutely massive you can see right here, even though we give them a level 3 kangaroo and a level 3 boar, we win quite easily. And I believe this is going to be the final turn. We're going to get the Anubis up to level 3 in the fight. We're going to get the team spirit up to level 3 in the fight. And I think this is going to be it. So I really hope you enjoyed this build. And if you did, I hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff. And I will talk to you next time. Take care.